One of the things that led up in the beginning too of the interest, I guess, was that uh, we grew up in Jamestown, just a little town about 20 miles south of here. And there was a little store there, and that's the one I worked at throughout high school, and it came up for sale. So that is one of the things that sparked my interest in you know, going into the grocery business. One of the things we naturally are, we're uh, locally owned, and, and we do try to play up on that. Uh, you know, we do know the customers, uh, you know, <laughs> they are our neighbors. Some of the things that we do push in the store here, though, is we try to push having the freshest possible uh, fruits, vegetables, meat, and so those perishable items. Uh, we feel that we do a better job than anybody else in the area. The relationship with Bob and myself were brothers, <laughs> so so we grew up together. And he was actually uh, he went to college to be an art teacher, and he was actually working in a grocery store up in Erie at the time. And uh, coming up with the idea, he was my older brother. I said, you know, I thought, well, well, you know, put two and two together, he'd be the perfect partner. Uh, actually, it's my brother and I that had gone down to. Golden Dawn, 1978, and we interviewed uh, trying to find a store. Garth at the time was 21, I think. I was about 28. And they kind of looked at us and basically showed us the door. Uh, they weren't too interested in having some young kids trying to uh, get into the business. Probably about six months later, I got a phone call and I said, Are you still looking to get a store? And I says, yes. And they says, well, we have an opening in Meadville. He said, you have $10,000. And I says, oh, sure, we have $10,000. Yeah, we can do that. Well, we didn't have two cents rubbed together. So Garth, he uh, went to my parents and borrowed 5000 And I went to my father-in-law and borrowed 5000 Store was about one-third the size that it is now and was not doing anywhere the fi near the figures that they had claimed it was. And we used to come in here and work during the day and even spend the night here. I worked generally in the meat department. After we were here a couple days, my mother came in shopping and I was in need of help and I says, can you wrap meat? And she says, well, she'd give us a shot. So she ended up being our meat wrapper for better than 20 years. It was a lot of work. <laughs> 